David. David, are you making breakfast in bed? David? Susan, I've got to go now. I need to go to work. But you say yesterday. I know, I know. I'm sorry, Susan. Oh, Susan, please don't cry. Look, I've got, I've got five minutes. We could have a coffee together. Before I go. Yes, let's have a coffee together, baby. And then we can go to bed for cuddle. I put the kettle on. We can have sticky buns and watch Trisha. So maybe tonight you could bring back a DVD and we could snuggle up in bed. Something romantic and funny. And then tomorrow you could take a day off. And we could have breakfast in bed. We could go for a walk along the beach and then come back here. And I could cook nice meal with oranges and candles. And we could go to bed early and listen to some music. And, and then the next day we could cuddle all day. Would you really like to speak to Susan? I don't need to set you up and wait. You could call your boss and tell him you're busy. It's better when you stay here Susan. with me. It's like Christmas every day, like birthday. Susan. And... Yes, David? Susan, there's something I really need to talk to you about. Something that's been troubling me. What is it? You're not my girlfriend, Susan. What do you mean, David? Of course I'm your girlfriend. You're not my girlfriend, Susan. You're a bloody teddy bear. Don't be silly, David. <laughs> You're a teddy bear, Susan. You really are. You're eight inches tall. And I'm a 34-year-old man. It's not going to work out. And, and all this walking and talking, moving about. Teddy bears just don't do that, Susan. I wanted to stop. I want you to go back to being a teddy bear like you used to be. Just sitting still, doing teddy bear things. Nothing. Susan? And Susan, what would you really like to say to you?